smoking a guarantee when I come to treat. No, that's, that's the whole point. No, you're not quite. 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 You're Right, Shalawam, Shalawam Israel, we're the Hebrew Israelites. Uh, we come out here week in, week out, and as much as possible, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai, prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, man. And before we do anything else, we're going to turn to the east and give all praise, his honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashim Yahushai, Wahab, 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 to the elders and apostles, chief elders of Great Millstone, and the other elders also that do teach well, man, and that taught us this truth through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai. Shalom, uh, Rakim, unto the hope for the elect. Brother and sisters scattered throughout the four corners, doing your due diligence in all truth and sincerity. And a uh, double salutation unto the Akim, man, laboring, ministering week in, week out, the highways and hedges, giving up their body as a living sacrifice unto Yahweh Hashim Yahushai in all truth and sincerity. Shalom to the brother Yohanna from the love of brother Yohanna. Shalom, Shalom to the sister Rebecca. Shalom, 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 Shalom. Uh, Chicken Mandu. And Shalom to the brother Chicken Mandu. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Lord willing, I'll speak, I'll speak to you later. Um, uh, this is Isaiah 55 and 8. It says, my, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways, my ways, saith the Lord. For real and truly, the crops, the, the, the biggest currency or the best currency in this truth is faith. Like the most I, like you've been in certain situations and you think, boy, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. And it's easy to then drop back into old ways. That's why it says, um, make not haste in times of trouble when you read um, Surah chapter 2. Like, the most, we have to remember that the most I see is from the end to the beginning. We see things as it unfolds, and we have to make sure that anything we're doing, we're always keeping our faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and we're not leaning on our own understanding. And that's, that, that can be easy to do at times, you know what I'm saying? But we have to make sure that we stick to the say of the Lord, yeah, because, like we read, it says, for my thoughts, are not your thoughts. We can't fathom the things that the whole side do. So, uh, can we get our uh, Romans 8 and 28? Look at Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. It says, And we know that all things work together for good. Imagine that you're in a situation where it's a life or death situation. But even in that situation, if you're throwing your bar, shim your shy, that's going to work out for your good. Right. Yeah, he says we know that in all, not some things, or the things that we can comprehend, or the things that seems reasonable or makes common sense. He says in all things, man, whether you can fathom it, even that Abraham could fathom why the most high told him to sacrifice his son. He could have implied, you know what, I could have brought a, a, a lamb. I could have brought a sheep or goat. Why didn't he use my son? But he didn't lean on his own understanding. He just did that serve the Lord. And that's what we need to do, man. Forget common sense, because common sense, as I say the word, ain't in common. Yeah? And what is common to us is uh, 1 Corinthians 1, I think, 20. Yeah, that was the point. Yeah, that was the point. All right, so Romans 8 and 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love, the most high. Yeah, to them that love the most high, meaning what you're fair, you are fair, you are fair, you are those that just come on with you. And you can play in the most high. And that, I just want to touch on what you said about uh, Abraham, right? And that's, that's the sort of faith that we hope that the Heavenly Father bestows upon us in these times to come, right. that faith where we put in all the cares of this world aside, right. even when it comes to family and whatever. Right. We want that spirit uh, 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 on us, right? So we're not... We're not having any type of fear in this place because there's still little things that brothers can work on, right, to build themselves up in the spirit. Like brothers said, it's a journey, right? So, hey, Yahweh Ratazar, 
you sincere brothers and sisters get that faith bestowed upon you from the heavenly father because it's not of ourselves where it comes from it's all a gift from above right so which right now is that say shalom to the elders shalom and also shalom to the brother beloved brother and um, that faith you're mentioning, you know, like, like I said, that's the spiritual currency that's been paying our way to this point. That's going to pay our, our way to the end law will we enjoy, man. Faith, man. Right? But, and that's the unwavering faith. That's the faith uh, Abraham had. Yeah. The unwavering faith to where he didn't even question when the Most High uh, uh, gave it the command, man. That's right. You know, he, he, he automatically disobeyed. Mm. You know? There weren't no, uh, no doubt. No. You know, and that's the unwavering faith that we all going to need, like that bro said, man. And, and how do we prove that? By referring back to the scriptures and everything we, we say or we do, man. So that two and ten, man, who is the most I ever let down, you know, that put their faith and trust in him, that's the power of Yeah, Romans. This is first Corinthians chapter one, verse twenty. It says, Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Yeah, so whatever how much wisdom you have. In this world, that's nothing to the wisdom of Yahweh Shem You know, how much common sense things make common sense to you in this world, that's foolishness to the most side. Like. You know what I'm saying? That it? No. it says, where is the wise, where is the strength, where is the disputer of this world? Have not the most high made foolish uh, the wisdom of this world? Your common sense. You right. made your common sense foolish. Uh, logic, your logic. Your logic. Whatever it may be, man, this is why you have to stick to dust, say, if you are oh, my right. say, man. Because, so like, because what's logical to one person may not, not be logical also, to someone else. Exactly. Same with so called common sense. We was touching on it earlier. Yeah. It's, uh, what, uh, the word common, right? You know, a few people were out earlier, right? Yeah. If you want to bring it out again, that's the shot. But what common is uh, depends on where. I suppose where you are, where you're situated, who you're among, that's what's going to be common. Well, slavery was common sense. It was common. You know, that's what everyone was doing back then. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But they'll look at that now and say, well, that yeah, was right. Yeah, yeah. That was a wrong thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, when you go into the word common, the root etymology, it means, it says open, right? And we're meant to be, you know, we're meant to be putting all our eggs so that, that one bar, which is right. I'm not like, oh, I'm open to all kind of things. Yeah, yeah that's what exactly. they say in the world, and they oh, just be open-minded. Yeah. Yeah, now yeah. we have to be open-minded to receive this truth. Mm. But now you've been given the truth. Now you you're meant to be, to be on what that narrow path. That's right. One, the eye focus meaning what that you're uh, 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 that you're not open-minded anymore because right. now you know where you're going. Like, right. You know, it says uh, common means it says it says general, it says <laughs> not specific. See Listen, that? Hold on. Proverbs 7 and 2, to keep my commandments and live. What's not specific about that? Very specific. You know, it says, I put before you life and death, choose on the prayer, you choose life. What's not specific about that? The most I was general, like, well, you know, there's life and death, and yeah. you know, you can if you want to. Route no. 4 and 1 as well. It tells you, so plain upon table. <laughs> Look, oh, listen, plain upon li table. Yeah, listen to me. Live, don't listen, die. die. That's, right. that's the confusion this world brings. That's that grey area, isn't it? Yeah. Where the most right. ideals in black and white. Right. That's right. One thing is set up against another, yeah. man. It's as simple cold. as that, man. Left and right. No, but, but the grey area, that's confusion, man. You know? And that's that general. That's that general. If you're not talking about a specific yeah. or a whole, then really it don't count, man. Common, man. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, come, come. You want the next verse? Hey, after that, the wisdom of the most yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. For after that, for after that, in the wisdom of the most high, mm -hmm. the world by wisdom knew not the most high. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, quickly get Romans 1, I think 25. Yeah, the wisdom of the world, it tells you foolishness of the most high, man. So we, we can't really be going, that's why it says, curse be the man that trusts a big man and make it fresh as off. That's not just talking about trusting in these brothers. Obviously there's a, a certain a trust, a level of trust. But that's also me putting confidence in myself. The thing that I can get myself out of all situations. When we know that we need that help from above, man. Uh, one, 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 one. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. It says, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever, our man. For this cause, the Heavenly Father gave them up 
until vile affection. Uh, 24. 24, right? Yeah. Uh, Romans 1 and 24, wherefore the Most High also gave them up for, to uncleanness. Yeah, no, 23, 21, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, 21. Yeah. Come on, this is uh, Romans chapter 1, verse 21. Or even 20, 20, 20. Can't I start 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 20. It says, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made. That's right, it reads what? That his incorruptible spirit is in all things, right? I believe that's in um, you know, the law of attraction. What is the law of attraction? Benefits that manifest. Well, not really, because the law says a man should not lie down with the next man as he lie down with a, uh, with a woman. You have to paraphrase. So they'll tell you, well, I was attracted to them. Does that mean it's right? Uh, I think he means that uh, he's speaking it to, into existence. Yeah. No, 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 no. Here's the thing, right? We believe that. Get man's Get man's Yeah, 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 read that. Alright, this is Isaiah 46 and 10. It says, declaring the end from the beginning. The end from the beginning, right? And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, yeah. saying, My counsel shall stand, yep. and I will do all my pleasure. So that's the most I tell you that everything that's going on right this this conversation we're having right now, this was written a four times. Before he's even born, the Heavenly Father was gonna make this point that we are today are standing, it happened. Right, showing you it's of his will, right? So what you believe in the law of attraction, that's saying that you have your own will. Basically, what you're saying is that you have free will. And we don't believe in free will. The Bible doesn't teach free will. You're saying that you have your free will to manifest whatever it is that you who you can manifest, right? The most I is so we can't measure uh, the wisdom of the, uh, of the Heavenly Father. That's why it tells you not to search out his understanding, because you ain't you're gonna you're gonna bug yourself out trying to search out the understanding of the most high. It's just how you're thinking you're doing stuff of your own, but it's not. It's just the Heavenly Father's that on point that he can just make this happen. He, that's why his name, Yahweh, is he is, right? He, he just is, man. There's no measuring out. And we can't understand how, how it's all happening, right? That's why he gave us what we need to understand, right? We're not meant to understand everything at the most time. We're meant to understand what we're meant to understand as man, you know? So that's what we stick to. So when you're talking about law of attraction, no, we don't. We go with thus saith the Creator, thus saith the Most High Power, which says that everything that is uh, 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 everything that's going on now was ordained from the beginning. Yeah, that's what he just brought out. Get the Lord's prayer. No, shall I read that? Yeah. Proverbs twenty twenty four says, "Man's goings are of the Lord." Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? How can a man understand his own way? You didn't know he was going to come and see. You didn't know he was going to come out here today and see us today. You got plans. You had plans to do something else. The Most High led your steps up today. You didn't manifest that. The Most High manifest that. Do you see that? So this idea of us manifesting our own uh, destiny, right? Basically, you're saying you're in control of your own destiny. That kind of put you're trying to put yourself above the Most High because the Most High has already written your destiny out for you. It's gonna go how it goes. Whether you believe in your own, get um, your heart is wicked above that. Uh, because what up? So what our people do is that they trust in their own mind, right? Their own mind, and our hearts are wicked, brother. Right? Uh, this is Job 33 and 14. For the most I speak at once, right. yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Yep. In a dream, in a vision of the night, yep. when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men yep. and seeth their instruction, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So when you're sleeping at night, when we're all sleeping, the Heavenly Father is imparting us instructions 
for the next day. Whether you made you made plans in your own wicked deceiving heart or not. Most I set out our day for us and set our instructions for the next day. And it said that he what that he may withdraw man well, from his purpose. from his own purpose. Right, because you might plan right, say so the night before you might plan, right, today I'm gonna to deal with this, I'm gonna to go to this shop, go shopping, and you wake up like damn. Your phone might, you might not be able to make it shopping for whatever reason. That's how we know that we can't, you know, that the most eyes in control of all things. Let me grab this for Jeremiah. So, how do you speak to Yahweh? Pray to him, man. And, 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 I, before you bring it out, and that's 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 the good point there, because I was just thinking on it, that's the spirit, right? Because that's how we can connect with Heavenly Father through prayer, right? So, guess what? He may answer your prayer, but it's not you manifesting it. So, you know what they say? Be careful what you ask for, you might just get it. But what people tend to do, they think is, they don't understand that because you sincerely want something, the Heavenly Father may give it to you. Yeah. Right? But it doesn't mean that doesn't mean, no, but it doesn't mean that you're manifesting it. That's mm -hmm. the point. I say that you have just one yeah. Don't worry about that. Some people you have to pray in your heart. That means being sincere. What's, what's your heart? Let's establish what the heart is first. Now, the heart to me just basically the heart. Yeah, that part is simply, uh, simply the organ that pumps your blood, blood around your body. That can't think. That's so, what, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So when they say in a world you got to think between your head and your heart, even that's confusion because your mind is your heart. Like the big bro was saying, that word heart in the Hebrew goes back to the word love. That's where you get the word laboratory. That's where you cook everything up in your mind. Right? So you, you. Trusting in your heart, believing in your heart, all goes back to your mind. Because when you like say, you say trust in the heart, you're not trusting. You're, you're trusting in what your thoughts are, which is your mind. Listen to this. This is Mark 7, 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murders. Thefts, covetousness, weakness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil life, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. So it says, from, from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Do you think we're here? Yeah. Not your heart. This is what controls everything. You know when I said brain dead? When someone's brain dead, that's it. it, it it's it's all over, man. Yeah, right. That's, that's, right. that's, that's the main three computers. Yeah. 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 One last question. Who married? What do you mean? What is married in the first place? Oh, what is the yeah. yeah. So, people are saying that you have to be But what is married in the Bible? Well, well, I'm just asking. Marriage in the Bible where you have to lay down with your wife. Now, when you read the scriptures, there's normally a ceremony that we have as a custom. So you have the ceremony, then you take the wife into the bed chamber. That then she'll be a virgin. You break her hymen. You give the parents the um the sheet to show that she's a virgin. That's called a token of virginity to show that she's a virgin. But that's what makes her your wife. Genesis 24, 67, Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen. This is Genesis chapter 24, verse 67. So this is the real marriage. All right, it says, And Isaac brought her in to his mother, Sarah's tent. So, I, so it says, Isaac brought her into his mother, Sarah's tent. And took Rebecca. Took her, meaning they did the business. And she became his wife. You didn't get married in a tent. <laughs> they done the they done just the two, the and tent. then from then, because once you come together with a woman, yeah. that's your wife. Yeah. Yeah. That's a point. That's a beautiful point I was gonna make. Because when that two fleshes entwine, you become one. But now that's this, true marriage. This place teaches you. Now, hey, look, uh, it's a piece of paper. Exactly. No, that's exactly. what we're exactly. Yes, well, man, when you lay with a woman, a man was never meant to leave that woman, right? right? And woman was only meant to be with that one, one man, man, right? And this is all through the scriptures. But now, what do you see? That's why I mentioned about fornication. But now, everyone's just sleeping with everyone. It's a free fool. I'm going to go on a date with this guy. I'm going to go on a date with this guy. Oh, he weren't right. Yeah, we had a one night stand there. Oh, that's wicked. In the sea. Yeah, there's, yeah oh, this one weren't right for me. I'm going to try this one. That's wicked in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. So now, we need to do 
what's required from the most high power. You know, otherwise this is why our people are at the bottom and we're going through such plagues because we're doing what we want. We're following our oppressor. Our and our oppressor and, and, and our own hearts. When you read Jeremiah uh, 17 and 9, like the brother wanted to say, it says the heart's deceitful and desperately wicked because when we start going off our own heart, we start ending up uh, doing mischief, going into wickedness because this place, when you read Job 9 and 24, it says the earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. So the Most High gave the earth to the wicked. Why? Because the children of Israel, which we are, right, are, 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 are going against our power. We're doing what we want. And for that, when you read the 28th chapter of Deuteronomy, it tells you all the curses that we're going to go through if we don't listen. Going on slave ships, being sold to enemies, having to go to them for the want of all things, food, clothing, water. It tells us all this in the scripture. Why? Because we're being disobedient. And there's a flip side. He says, if you do listen to me, he says, I'm going to bless everything. So now, uh, the Heavenly Father's raising up men, right, to now teach our brothers, teach our sisters, bring them out of this low state, right, this down state, to raise us back up. Because there ain't long left in this place. You know, this place is going to be destroyed. It's getting worse and worse. And, and, and ultimately, war is coming, right? Famine's coming. Plagues is coming. We see that on an increase now. When you turn on the news, an increase of plagues, increase of uh, uh, earthquakes. But even over here, we had a flood in, uh, I think it was yesterday, or the day before, where the water was up to here in the yard. And that's over here. Not mentioning the dam that crossed over Libya. You know what I'm saying? People you know, may say, oh, well, these things happen, but not, never on the scale. Like the, uh, Matthew 24 chapter goes into a time that like has never has been before and that's the times we're in it and we're entering into you man that the scale it's the scale of the destruction and all these things are judgment these, oh, these are things are judgment from the heavenly father but these things are in a poor time for our learning you know and i like what was saying about the reason that we're going for what we're going for as a people is because how we start the conversation we believe we can manifest our own shit do you see, do, do, do you see a problem with that His spirit, uh, his incorruptible spirit is in all things, but he is not the creature, he's the creator. The universe is the creature, it's the creation. That's the difference. And we just bring it out before he came up, right? Should I bring it out again? What you, have, what you have to remember that the most I know is what you're going to do, but there's choices in front of you to go left or go right. But he knows ultimately whether you're going to go left or right. And that's where you bring that judgment upon yourself. It's not free will. Ultimately, it's not free will. Because if I say to you, I, I'm giving you two options, to live or to die. I've got nobody. But the choice is there though, to die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the point is this, is that if you're given options, then you haven't got free will. Because you've been given options to choose from. That's not free will. Now you've got either pick life or death. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? To you? Now you've got a choice out of those two things, yeah. but you don't have a free will to pick anything outside of yeah. those. So e does that make sense? He's only giving you the two options. So really, do you have free will? And, no, and, you and, don't. And, and, and back all the, the, the most high, the, the most high power knows what you're going to choose. Yeah, yeah. That's why he knows the end from the beginning. And that's why I said we, we can't search out his understanding. We just got to do. What he said, what we're meant to do. We've got to do what we're meant to do. We're not going to be able to uh, uh, search out the most high's understanding. I don't even try. You mean this? Yeah, you're going to try to wrap your head around it all. But he's written for us what to do to obtain salvation. Because we need salvation and deliverance. Because this is hell. There's no hell under this. This is hell. Yeah, hell's a condition. Right? You see our people going through hell. You like? You might say, oh, I'm going through hell this week. That's hell. No, it's, it's, a, it's a state of mind, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a um, condition. Uh, we as a people weren't meant to be in this kind of condition. But due to our disobedience, where we thought we had free will, but he said, keep my commandments and be a father of the body. Break them, and this is the repercussion. So was it really a choice? Even though we made the decision to break them, it's not really a no, 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 it is a choice, but again, it's, it's well, not really yeah, it's, 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 we're talking about free will in a sense of people think that they're free to do whatever they want. No, you're not. You're, not, you're, do you're free to do within the confines. Yeah. Even like, yes, like we say right. this to people, right? Are you free? They say yes. I say, have you got a passport? 
right? they'll say yes. I say, well, why can't free. you just go and get on a boat and by go. yourself and go to that yeah. land you want to go to without your passport? That's right. Because you're not free. That's right. Yeah, speak that into existence. Speak that into existence. Do you know what I mean? And this is this is the spell, this is the witchcraft that our enemies have worked upon our people. What they took after they took us off the ships, they took off the the, the, the shackles and chains yeah, after one. Because right, they man. captivated our minds. So shit, man, I'm gonna take off this dog now. You know, like when you got a dog on a lead for so long, to where now only go so only far. Only so far. Take the lead off the dog. Ain't no more further. Same thing with our people, man. Uh, Stockholm syndrome. Right. But the point I wanted to make is that we're to worship the creator rather well, than the creation, creation man. And that's one thing our people uh, yeah. find hard to do. Well, if you, if you are praying, you are praying that the most high's name is Yahweh, which means he is, right? And the son through the son's name, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, right? When Jay was only created in the 1500s, in the mid 1500s. So, so, yeah, in the Hebrew, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. so the son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means he, he delivers, right? So he's only going to be the only one who can deliver us. So scriptures say about pray without ceasing. So when we're praying, we need to use those names. And when you're being sincere and you want to actually do right in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and be pleasing to the Heavenly Father, right? You've got, you've got to make sure your ways are straight. You've got to make sure no harm touch you. Deuteronomy 20 and 40 says he's going to fight for us. He's going to save us. We can't expect to get out of the condition man without a, 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 a divine you know that divine power but the thing is you have to be obedient that's a key thing you have to be obedient. That's sincere. yeah obedient sincere and have faith man see if jake in america or whatever over here as well you know they got the big swords they got their machine you know you see them with the machine they ain't gonna save you but that's that, shit, that shit could uh, 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 jam right and when run they close the, the shops run out of bullets then what Remember, the Most High controls everything. Even Satan. Yeah. Satan works for the Most High. He's not disobedient. He's not, he's not disobedient. He's the tempter. Remember, what, what did, what did uh, Satan ask the Most High he could do to Job? He said, can I test Job, your servant? And Most yeah. High put a restriction on him. That's right. So the Most High controls what you want, but man. don't take his life. you got to think, the power of the Almighty, right? He's the titles, right? The Most High, the Almighty. Almighty. He controls everything. Now, is he Almighty? Satan say, say can disobey. God, this is the power Say they're going to burn. Well, in hell, no. And all these things. So I'm saying, say that it is against the Creator. Well, he's working for it. Can I break something down to you? The word Satan means adversary, right? Now, there's a spiritual view of Satan, which is in a spiritual realm right now with the Heavenly Father, right? He's an angel with the Heavenly Father. He's doing the most highest bidding. You've got those angels on the left hand side, and you've got the angels on the right hand side, and they're all doing the work of the most high. They actually come from Ham, obviously. Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. We come from Shem. A lot of those over there in that land come from Ham, the Somalians. You yeah, know? It's a spirit. 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 It's a or well, they're not saying, oh, what's up? They're, like, they're not doing that. That's our people. Yeah, so the, the, the Israelites are the so-called blacks. I say so-called because no one ain't black. Your t-shirt's black, right? So we're the so-called blacks who we are called blacks, right? Which is actually a proverb and a byword. Because when you go into the word black, uh, well, nothing good about it, man. Yeah, yeah. Dirt, dark, seedy, dirt. That's the label they put on us. So now we're calling ourselves black, black power. I'm proud, black and proud. You know, black lives matter, all, the, all this stuff. When we're actually Israelites, we are a seed line that comes from a chosen people that the Mosai 
are set apart from other nations. He's like, look, if you've got 10 pairs of trainers, right, you're like, hey, but these ones here, these are the ones that I, these are my favorite. But they're my favorite. So that's what the most I've done. He said, look, these people are my favorite. I'm going to keep them and bless them. But if they don't listen to me, I'm going to curse them. That's what happened. So it's the so-called blacks, the Hispanics, Native Americans, you know, anyone who fits those curses that are in Deuteronomy is more than likely an Israelite. We're not dealing with skin color because now if you slept with a so-called uh, 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 lighter skinned woman, the, the baby's going to come out lighter. And after thousands and hundreds of years, and you could be looking like a so-called white man, but his seed line still goes back to Israel. So we're not dealing with a, like, you know, uh, the white man or, you know, it's the so-called white man, number one. You want to say something? I was going to say, that's why you may have someone that looks like a white man or a Chinese man, but the scripture refers to us as the soul of the earth, right? So you might see a white man, bro, a white man can sing, you know? He can dance, he's got flavor. You don't talk about the rest of them. That's because his seed line goes back to our four parents. It's not about color, it's about your seed line. You might have a Chinese man. The that's spirit there. is different. Exactly, and, and they don't feel the same as the rest of the people out there, because they're not them. You know, it's like the brother says, yeah, it's not a color thing. This is First Kings 22 and 19, and he said, hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne, and that's what he does. Sits down and give orders and get shit stuck. So I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne yeah. and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand. Hold on, he said, all the hosts of heaven hold on. standing by him on his right hand, his right hand and, on his left. and on his left. So those are the good and the bad. And that Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ram of Gilead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit and stood before Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. And Yahweh said unto him, Wherewith? Meaning how? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. So that was one of those left hand spirits yeah. that the heavenly power was speaking And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also, go forth and do so. Now therefore, behold, Yahweh has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and Yahweh has spoken evil concerning him. So the heavenly father did it. Even with um, King Saul, when he went off, what did what did the scripture say? The Most High took his spirit of him and put evil spirit of him. Now, now the Satan that is against the Most High, because we're the physical counterpart of God, right? Yeah. We're the Israelites, we're the That's children right. of the Most High. Now the physical counterpart of Satan on the earth, and right, his children, and his so-called uh, 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 so what they call yeah. Edomites yeah. in the Bible, is there from the man Esau. But there will be a so-called Caucasian today. Yeah. Again, that's just the bulk of what they look like. Yeah. Esau came out red, right? So it's not necessarily all white people, but no. they just have so happen to be just like we're yeah, melanated yeah. people, yeah. right? Latinos, Native Americans, and so on and so forth. Right? But the Heavenly Father controls everything. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to touch on, because I didn't bring the precepts out, how we, you know, we yeah. men are, are the seed, right? And the woman is the earth. Yeah. We, we hold the seed. That's why we're saying, that's why they say in this world, your forefathers. So we go and we trace our way back. Obviously, you're not going to be able to fully, but it always goes from the seed of your father, right? Yes. So this is the book of Numbers, chapter 1 and 18. It says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees their lineage, after their families by the house of their that's father. When you read the Bible, you always hear the son of the son of the son of because it's, because remember we the man carries a seed so if you take an apple tree an apple seed from an apple over here and plant it in china what's going to grow the apple might look a bit different because of the climate but it's still an apple because the man carries a seed the woman she's like the earth she just grows what's in her so if let's say i've got a sister and she sleeps with someone of another nation that child is now, she and the mum is two different races. That's right. But she's growing, that child is of the race of that man that tried to see inside of her. And what that, what that goes, also goes to prove is that this world is full of confusion. That word Bab yeah, and no, Babylon no, 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 means confusion, confusion yeah. right? So there's no such thing as mix. There's no mix race. You are the seed of your father. It's Regardless of how you look. Mixed, mixture is confusion. Yes. Again, you can't get an orange apple, apple tree. Yeah. You can't get a pear yeah. apple tree. Yeah. You've got any questions, man? man. Uh, I actually come to give you something to read, you know. You print 10,000 of these for the young people. Top, 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 top. Check it out. First two pages are these for just the last 20 years. It's crazy. Hey, are you, are you Ah, 
This is massive. Massive, massive, what, massive, what, massive, what, massive. What, what, massive. What is it? That's a YouTube man. So what do you do? Do you believe in the Bible? I believe all of you So so you know you're an Israelite then? So there is some of this No but I, you you know you're an Israelite then? Right. So what, what yeah read some of that I'm willing some of that. One sec, shall I want to Rocky Hawashai? Shall I want to Mike? Shall I want to John 1 for 4K? Shall I want to Yahawashai? I don't want to be recorded. No, you're not. No, here you go. Oh, they'll hear me. They heard you last time in four leagues as well. Alright, fine, but I don't want to be recorded. No, you're good. You're good. Alright, 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 you're good. You remember you said you believe what we believe. What is it about? For me, you know our book, what you we really came from. I'm sure what I read. It's the Bible, the one Yeah, this is Don't take that wrong. This is massive. But this, this is what yeah, we really yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, so what I'm going to give you is massive. Read a little piece. Read a little piece. What I'm going to give you is massive. Wait, what? You can't go with that. Some of this book may have you, some of what he said might make you uncomfortable. Like if you're Bible. mature enough to read through, you'll see how beautiful it is like the moon and the stars. The powers that be have used their wealth, the influence, and their know-how to indoctrinate the whole world that black people are the lowest, the worst, the ugliest, and every terrible thing there is. People grow up to learn to understand and express for themselves that that's all life, but to some degree they still go along with the world's idea of that and it is impossible to be completely rid of it. People have subconsciously learnt this since early childhood, it's even bigger than Santa Claus. Rest assured, I'm not only speaking of other racial groups, but black people are also victims of this terrible indoctrination. There are many grown adults who still have this ideology about other black people. As a black person, I know what it is to navigate my way through this world, knowing the world, including children who do not know any better, have this idea about me. For that reason, I take great pride and pleasure in the fact that Jesus is a black man. He is the greatest person that ever walked the earth, and there will never be anyone as great as him again. He has made a way so everyone who can be forgiven of their sins and enjoy eternal life, be conquered death and the grave. How great is that? Our aim and purpose for writing this is for people to know the truth of who black people are and the heritage and for black people to protect their sins for their children. It has been made to be universally known that black people are African slaves, but there's so much more to their story. It's just for you to know how it all occurred and what it happened to give you clarity why things are the way they are today. Secondly, if you love for black people and white people to understand that they have a bunch of the same type of differences. We explain the conflicts that have been, when, where, why, how, and, how and, and, and the best way to go forward. Several generations, after several generations of being continuously, subliminally, sub, sub, subconsciously told by the world at large, and those who have power and authority over them, i.e. government, school teachers, doctors, police, and every social institution there is, that they are the vilest, the most awful, the most empty, less protected people there is. This has severely diminished their ability to love themselves. They will instinctively administer preferential treatment to other people groups over their own. Black people are the only people who can do this. It has taken an intervention from God sent in knowledge to rectify the situation. The knowledge is here, please be rectified. Okay. So, so more or less, what, mo most of what that says all kind of goes back to this mm. scripture. So I'm not trying to. It's, it's rubbish stuff here or nothing like that, but you know what it is? Before you bring it up, before, before you, you're going to go on that point. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring it back round. I'm going to bring it back round to that. So, so all, most of what you said goes back to that. There was one thing that was that stood out. So, there's, there's a few, there's, there's, no, there's oh, a few oh, things that stood out. There's, one, one, there's one thing that stood out to me, and, and, and we kind of looked at each other. Yeah. Uh, before, before we go there, the, the first thing I want to say is this, this black thing. You yeah. have to get over this, this hurdle of this black thing, black. Black, black. You, you spoke about heritage, right? Yeah. What's our heritage? Our heritage ain't black. I know that. See what I'm trying to say to you, so. This is just a little, this is just a little. No, like black. I said, there's, there's, there's a lot of truth when, in that. When, when you get the full book, it deals with all of that. Okay. Okay. So, so it goes into the fact that we. It deals that with all that, probably. Because the thing we're trying to get our people to understand and bring them back to the remembrance is that of their true nationality, yeah. their true culture. Yeah. Our true culture yeah. is not it. black. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not rubbishing it. There's, there's, all that. there's some truth that was, there was yeah, a lot of truth that we said. There's those of all of that. There's those of all of that. When you, when you get the full But bit. what we need to do, guess, guess where so, the so, answer so, is. So, no, 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 you want to bring something that's, up. That's why you said, you said, why are the things that you said that don't line up with the Bible? You said that, that you make it uh, where, to where white and black people come together, right? or understand each other or come together, something like that. What I said here was, 
we would like for black people and white people to understand each other better and accept each other. Okay, see, 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 okay, see, see. Yeah. Now the Bible yeah. teaches that's never gonna happen. Remember we read the most I dealt everything but, four times. Everything's already written, right? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. The Bible teaches that's not gonna happen. And there's another thing you said, he said that that Christ is a black man, which is true, he's a so-called black man. Right, one, one, second. Yeah. one second, let me finish my point. That he's a so-called black man, which is true, you can read that in Revelation, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you said that he's here to save everyone. That's another point, because I'm listening carefully to what you said. You say to save everyone, right? When you say everyone, do you mean literally all everyone? Or do you mean all, so, of, all of the Israelites? Those of his own, his own, his own, his own, his own, his own, his own kid. So, that's what it says, anyway, yeah? So, well, so we're going to clarify. I'm, I'm going to so, what, what I would like to do, I would like to give you this to read the whole of you for yourself. I'll take one and read yeah? it. I'll take one and, and read it. And I'm going to advance, because I know what it says here. Yeah. But, but I, can I say, are you going by, are you, are you putting that book before the Bible? Are you putting that pamphlet before the Bible? Uh, you put it in. No, but, no, but that's, the, that's the point, because you're, you're, very, you're very passionate. Did you write that? Did you write it? I'm a foot soldier. No, 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 I'm not. So you didn't write it. I'm, I'm not you're, you're obviously very passionate about the yeah. pamphlet, and there's some, there's some truth in it. Yeah. But what we have to do, yeah. as Israelites, yeah. not as yeah. black people. The whole, book, the whole book itself, if you read the whole book itself. Okay, fair enough. I haven't read it all yet, so I can't really speak it all. But from what you extracted, it, this is just a little pamphlet, this is just a little six page little thing. But one thing that, that we know now, and we get we haven't read the whole book, but one thing that we do know <laughs> in, our, in our heart, in our mind, as we go into with that brother. <laughs> That this is that book that we need and in order to wrong. be self It says none shall want her mate. mate. So we right. don't need to make this up with nothing else. So we're not, like we said once again, there was a lot of truth in there. There was also some stuff that was don't that, that don't line up with these scriptures. So this is the problem. Our people, Babylon, right? The word Babylon. That's one of the first two pages. Yeah, no, we get it, we get it. No, we get it. Babylon means confusion. And what we don't want to do now, us being raised up, is put any more confusion. So now, if we're giving out that pamphlet to people, you ain't going to read it to anyone. No, but, 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 in general, I want you to read it for no, yourself. Well, you said you'd follow the Bible, and then you're giving out these pamphlets, and there's certain things that that don't line up with the Bible. That can cause confusion. That's right. That's right. That's that's right. That's that's and what we don't want to do now, our people are destroyed enough for a lack of knowledge in Hosea 4 and 6. We don't want to cause and be responsible for causing any more confusion. And when we do try to put stuff together like that, it could confuse. No, no, not, it, it, it will confuse Salakia because not everyone has a knowledge that you might have, right? Someone might have no, you know, not inquired about any Bible or anything, and then you're saying, take this and take this. They're again reading that and they're reading this and they're like, oh, hold on, this is saying that and this is saying that. So then, are they going to be confused? Well, I'd love for you to read your book. I'll read it. I'll read it. I'll read it. I'll read it. Our people are hopeless right now, right? And like I said, destroy if we lack of knowledge. Our people are hopeless. Our hope is in the word. Our hope is in the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Now, the things you're the things you're bringing out of your pamphlet, from what you read, we read it all, but the three pages you read, the things that you're you're hoping that our people were hoping are not gonna come to pass. Because our people are never gonna see eye to eye with these devils. Yeah, yeah. And that's just what it is. So you're giving our people you're giving our people a false hope. No, 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 it's a false hope. No, it's a false hope. Can I ask you a question, but before you go, do you believe we'll ever see eye to eye with these devils? So, so, so what I said was, but what I said was, what I said was, it's not a matter of going to see eye to eye. Or, or, but that's what you're hoping in though, right? That's not what I'm hoping in. YouTube, so you don't believe listen, that was true. The has already said that Esau and Jacob are going to war from generation to generation. So, so now, but all I've said is, I'm a virgin, because what I'm saying is, this is what I'm saying, this is what it says is that. It says it's for us to understand each other. They don't want to understand you, my brother. No, no, no. They understand you enough. They understand you enough to destroy you. No, 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 no. You need to read this, man. You really, really they, they want understand to you. you. They understand you so much I really want to that they put you in this uh, frame of mind. No, 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 it's you no, that no, don't no, understand no, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, alright. Well, are you going to take your? Are you going to really take it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want you to take your own. Well, I can get it off in me. Can fool me in. Yeah, man. I'm going to give you your own one. Your brothers. So, if you want to give me one, give me one. Take one. It's 
Read it, read all of it, read all of it, yeah? And I'm gonna bounce, yeah? All right, hey, stay in the Bible, man, stay in the scriptures, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Read all of that, please, yeah? I'll tell you what I'm going to do next time I'm going to carry the whole book in my bag and give it to you. Well, yeah. 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 All right, all right. The Bible is reading from. Yeah, so. What was this? Uh, it's, uh, hush, the, hush. Uh, the Book of Confusion. Bro. Hush, Hush Truth by David Templar. AKA the Book of No Hope. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's so hey. Yeah, you bring that out. Bring out Jose at 4 and 6. And with that, we're going to bring out Jose at 4 and 6, man. It's so hush hush truth, man. We don't need nothing else but the scripture, that's man. Because right. that's like you said, that, man. That's confusion. What about saying? We need none of these things because exactly. we have the Holy Spirit. Hey, let me get for us, man. I've got a kid set up. Hey, listen, I have no intention still. Like, there's some, like I said, there's some good. But. No, I don't read it so no, I can chop it up and cut it up. No, no, no but hear this, though. Tell a good lie, it has to be true. Now I'm not saying what the brother saying is lies, because yeah, well, what you were saying, there's some truth in there, but there's some... some no, there was some lies in yeah, there. Yeah, there's some lies Deceivable in there. Deceivable, they may believe yeah. a lie, and what's it say? Like, the brother was going to make me pull the scripture. It says, uh, uh, woe to the prophets that prophesy lies in my name, because he's coming out, he's trying to say he's yeah. coming out of the scripture as well, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed, just Ooh. like Martin Luther King, so right, dreaming, to join hands that everyone's going to join hands together, like, everyone's going to work stuff out, hey, this place is going to be destroyed, right? It's all going to be worked out and, in the and, kingdom. And, right? and, and what goes to show again, he's definitely not in the in in right, right frame of mind, yeah, or in the right, right spirit, yeah, because... Yeah. He still wants to, uh, ultimately, he wants to, to save on. his enemy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's Everybody what he gets. Yeah, yeah. eye eye. And he's only giving it to our people, so that, that ultimately, that's going to destroy our people. Look, eye to eye is in the kingdom. That's when everyone's going to see eye to eye. When this whole nation is governed by Yahweh Shai, and, you know, the laws are coming out of Zion, that's when everyone's going to see eye to eye. Until then... But even then, you're still going to have rebellious heathens, man. But it's not going to work, <laughs> because that rebellion is only going to be in the early stages, man, until they realise, well, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really in my best interest. Yeah, yeah. That's why they say, come, let's go up to the house of the yeah, Lord, and right, we should learn right, his ways, right. man. After that, uh, that thousand years yeah. of servitude, you know. Send them back to their own But the thing is, this, this is the beauty thing of the most. The beauty. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening my this is the beauty of the Samuel most. Jackson again, remember, remember yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He is willing. Yeah, yeah, I heard it about a couple weeks ago. Right. Yeah, but I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Before I go to the Bible, I have to go. Yeah, no, it was after. I see you when I was by myself teaching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I held you up. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Normally we're brothers, man, but you know, uh, we're just rebellious, man. Yeah, we, we just don't <laughs> listen. <laughs> Where are you coming from? I've been saying before. When I forgot you, when I forgot you. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's so much spirits on our people. The lights man. are more important. Yeah, the spirit, yeah, yeah, man. Crossing the, the green, road. You've got the green light from Esau, it's gone. Esau go. said green light, go. Red light, I, I stop. Know it's funny as well because <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm not, but you don't with him once, then you don't with him once. Yeah, 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 that's right. See, see, see. He loves his oppressor. Yeah. And if you could have saw that brother, that book, yes, yes. Right. yes. <laughs> and gave him the book. If you could have saw that brother, right? By uh, David Temple. He Temple-Hop. looked exactly like Samuel Jackson. <laughs> yeah, I exactly should have given like. him the hush hush. Yeah, I, yeah. I should have given him the hush hush truth. Yeah, Shalom, Mike. Um, uh, Yahweh the 144. Wow. And Rebecca. Shalom, wow. Rebecca. Shalom, wow. Shalom. Wow. Right, so this is Hosea. Chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed by a lack of knowledge. Right, and that was evident to see, man, you know. And, and this is a man saying that he believes in the Bible. He knows he's an Israelite. You know what that goes back to Slakia? The wisdom of this world is foolishness in the whole time, man. Yeah, 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 that's what happens. And that's why I want to put a precept in the dark place by saying, It's common sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says, My people are destroyed. For a lack of knowledge, because they have rejected knowledge, which are these holy scriptures, they have rejected these scriptures, man. He says, because they have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Now we have these reprobate minds, they want to go and, you know, take these other books and try and make up with the scriptures. That ain't going to happen, man. La -ah. And you see how passionate he was about that pamphlet? And it's six page pamphlet, you know. That one man, the man pull a verse or a precept. <laughs> Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thee. And I, want, I just want to, I want to grab this yeah, as well. Said, I will forget thy children, man. And look at us, man. We're a forgotten people, man. But yeah. now, us repenting, the Mosai has started to turn his face back to us. Which yeah. is a beautiful thing. Oh, exactly. Yeah, part. All right, so this is the book of Sirach 42 and 21. It says, He have garnished the excellent works of his wisdom. 
and he is from everlasting to everlasting. Yes. Unto him may nothing be added, neither can he be diminished. No, we don't even need that. No, we don't need that. Until, until, until. And he have no need of any counselor. So what you're basically saying is that the, the, the Lord's word ain't good enough, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it says, lean not on that. That, that, that goes into the, what we're bringing out today. You're, exactly. what you're, by talking about, uh, we're going to go with the common sense yeah. and float around this thing. You're saying that. Yeah, it says, unto him may nothing be added. No hush hush truth. You know, no, no Quran, no hush hush truth. We don't need none of that. No, no, none of that. It says, unto him may nothing be added. That means. Zilch, man. Nothing may be added. It says, neither can he be diminished, and he have no need of any counselor. You That's don't right. need no help. You need your pamphlet, you, don't need, you don't need the pamphlet. You don't need us to think for him either. That's yeah. right. Uh, and, and let me exactly. let me just grab one more of a picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Grab one more of a We need it to think for us. <laughs> exactly. We need that. Uh, the other one no, to but, direct no, our but, step. No, but you got common sense, bro. Use it, man. <laughs> yeah, use your common <laughs> sense. Got logic, in it. Got logic in it. Right. So this is Sirach 19 and 20. It says the fear of the other one is all wisdom. That's right. You know, See there? And in all wisdom, wisdom is what? Yeah, and in all wisdom is the, the performance of the law. In all wisdom is obedience to Yahweh. That's right. And do you know what? Yahweh Shai weren't doing no guesswork. That's right. The, the, the disciples had to do guesswork at yeah, times. Really? Like, right, what's the Messiah thinking? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Guess what? Yahweh Shai didn't do no guesswork. Yeah. All he did was come out of his father's word, man. No that's all he did is speak the heavenly father's word. When he said that, I came. I do not my own will, yeah, yeah, but the yeah, will of him that sent me. Man. I can of my own self do nothing. nothing. And that's the same mindset we are meant to have. We can't do nothing without the most high, man. And just because a brother's got this knowledge or a brother's got that knowledge, what did it say, Matthew? What do you, how was I say? Are you all getting that same penny? That's right. It don't matter. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yo, so what if you've got right. every single breakdown? Right. So what if you can only uh, discern certain... So what? The old you're all getting a penny. What? penny. And then uh, that's what he said. What do you mean I'm just getting a penny? But I... I've been putting in work. I've been doing what? this through 30 but, years. But that's 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 the um the payment. The payment was a penny. That's what you signed up for. You yeah. signed up for your penny, man. I'm they weren't they, they a weren't, penny. They weren't there weren't no this penny. I'm just it's a, it's a penny. Yeah, there weren't no stipulation on oh well if you hit working longer you get more. No, they don't say that in the scripture. Look, look, look at um um Hebrews 11 Brady. He says that they never received the promise, they just saw them afar off. Uh, Right. Our forefathers, you know what I'm saying? Right. So they're still waiting for that finish. Right. And look how much right. work they're putting, man. I'd I, I love right. to do half the work that they've done, and half the faith that they've got. That's right. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Oh, no. Shout out to all the brothers and sisters on the comment board. If yeah, we missed anyone, man. yeah. Shalom, yeah. Normally, that's, that's the spirit that, that, that the man of the Lord is going to be in, man. And, 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 and I, I say that understanding that hey, today we might have spoke a bit more than, than bringing out some preachers at times which maybe should have answered some of the things for the precept, but you know how the spirit works, man. Right. But, 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 but as much as possible, we're meant to be speaking and following everything through the scriptures, man. Because you know? that's wisdom. That's wisdom, man. That's our wisdom, not our common, own common sense. Yeah, but you know what, even with saying that, a lot of the, there's a difference between talking off the top of your head and paraphrasing what's in the scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Of course, of course. All right, so this is, can I grab this? This is Proverbs 1 and 20. It says, Wisdom crieth without. Mm. She uttereth her voice in the streets. That's right. Talking about wisdom, because when you read Proverbs 7, I said, uh, is it Proverbs 7 and 4? It says, uh, check, someone check Proverbs 7 and 4, where it says, Wisdom is like unto my sister. Unto wisdom, yeah, yeah, that my sister. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs seven and four. Say unto wisdom, that my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman. There we go. So when it, when the scripture is talking about she utter her voice in the street, it's pertaining to wisdom. wisdom. It's talking That's about right. wisdom, right? Uh, 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 to a delicate, delicate, comely woman, right? Delicate wisdom, right? So it says Proverbs uh, one and twenty. It says wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. That's right. So we out here in the chief place of Concord, it's gonna say it, right? But it's also wisdom to know what is wisdom. Yeah. But there's a lot of madness out here in yeah, the streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. and, and who give you wisdom that's, too, right. that's also wisdom. I'll get, get that off yeah. It says she crieth in the chief place mm. of Concourse right. in the say? openings of the gates in the city. She utter her for a word saying, How long 
the simple ones. Yeah, th those are the same ones that's destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah, it says, how long you simple ones will ye love simplicity? Come of your own understanding. Come of this world, which is the rest of the most high. Uh, 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 yes, it's how long we should love simplicity, right? Verse 24. Verse 24, it says, Because I have called, and ye have refused, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. Oh, read on, read on. Verse 25, it says, But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof, or I have proof, or I will I also will laugh at your calamity. Okay. Well, there's no excuses talk. when we're in this situation that we're in. No praying to the most high, it seems like our prayers ain't answered. Why? Because when he did open out his arms, oh, you're throwing someone's a life, uh, they're in the sea, you throw them a life jacket, you see this life jacket come back on the yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, especially when you just, yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to save your life. Yeah. Especially when you know that. That's even worse right, because right. the Heavenly Father may wink at your ignorance, right. but once you know better, man, you know how the saying goes already. If you man. know better, do better, man. That's you know? yeah. what it's all about. Yeah. Trying to work out our own salvation man we can't lean on our own understanding yeah we can't lean on our own understanding exactly because because yeah. because because the scriptures have all the answers man the heavenly father's got all the answers we ain't got the answers before we came into this truth we didn't have the answers man and it's the only reason now we have got the answers is through the spirit of power of our and shine and the gifts that he has bestowed upon us man to the measures that he has you know? and, and, and we're still learning and we can still continue to learn man yeah. i don't know no one up there who ain't still watching this that's right, that's right. Yeah, There's that's, never... So that's, you know I'm saying, that's part of staying in the spirit. That's right. When you're watching brothers, because you might be able to, you know, you might read a scripture, you might break, you might be a teacher, right? You break down a, a lesson, but then a brother will say the same scripture and he's the, the same thing. But to someone who's listening in, that understanding, that, bro, that brother said, hey, it sits more well with them or they, or they understand it better. So that's why we want people to understand it. Or even the layers. That's right. That's why we watch brothers. He, he, even Apostle Taha, Apostle Gabar, you know, I, I, I've heard them say out of their own mouths that they're still learning from uh, brothers younger than themselves. Right? You know, uh, brothers are making them meditate on certain things that they never thought about. Uh, you know, like you say, you might go over uh, a few verses yeah. at one time and be like, okay, and then you might go over it again and extrapolate some more meat that's out of right, it. Right. You might go over it a third, fourth time, be like, right, I never knew it was this meaty. Because now, you know, you're looking at it in the spiritual and the physical, or, or so on and so forth. I remember right? a good example of that, like um, Zephaniah 1 and 8. Where it speaks about strange apparel. I remember one time we were doing a lesson, bringing that out. The rabbi said something, and I thought, yeah, your character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, your conversation, man. Yeah. Shalom to Malak Laab. Shalom to the 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 Shalom yeah, that brother was real passionate about his pamphlet, man. Really? And that know. pamphlet ain't gonna save you, brother, man. Yeah, just to update the brothers yeah, yeah. that are tuning in. The brother come out and he, you know, we let him read, read a few pages, yeah. right? Uh, and that's why we was bringing out Hosea 4 and 6. Our people were destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Uh, he was bringing out uh, hush hush truth to us, which we took it off the brother, right? But he's trying to make this up with the scriptures where we know Heavenly Father don't need no counselor no. and nothing can be added to the scriptures so we don't need this hush hush truth right the brother said that he believes in the scriptures but then he's trying to uh, bring this out as well which he's very passionate about it seems with the yes, spirit yes. he had a very strong passion more than the scriptures right. but because what he should have brought out is the scriptures and, and, and well, no it says hush hush <laughs> truth as a 58 and 1 yeah, cry aloud yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> show my people Listen, no, and, and the spirit he was coming in is of that docile spirit remember what he was saying he was coming in that luther martin, king. martin luther king spirit uh he wanted us to somehow work it out and esau, understand yeah. it with esau understand each other man where we know through the scriptures and through prophecy that's that never that's gonna never going to happen right what we know is going to happen is that these damn devils are going into slavery that's right and we are going to uh, uh, uh rule them with a rod of iron that's what <laughs> that's we right. know that's right, right? He that leadeth into captivity will go into captivity. The Lord's words will stand, you know, so we haste towards that kingdom, right? right. So this is First Maccabees, uh, chapter chapter 12, verse 9. It says, Therefore, also, we also, albeit we need none of these things. Yeah, we don't need this pamphlet, man. 
Okay. You don't need that. Go on, why? Since for that we have the holy books of scripture. That's what we need, man. In our hand to comfort us. Mm. And that in, in the time of trouble, right? That pamphlet ain't gonna bring him comfort, man. No. That's not the wisdom, knowledge, that's and right. understanding that's gonna be your stability you know, in them times. When man. the same people he's trying to hold hands with are trying to break in his house yeah. and, and, and steal his shit, man. Yeah, but he was still calling on the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, he's still yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. Jesus. And he's still talking about black people. And black people, Jesus, and that. And, and ultimately, even though it's a small pamphlet, this small pamphlet can do some damage. damage. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Just like if you read uh, a couple of things wrong out of the scriptures, it can do damage. That's what the Catholics done to our people, right? right. They read, they and they read John three sixteen, and they're, yeah. they're telling people, hey, just say Jesus and you're saved. You know, so a little bit can do a lot of damage, ah, right? right? So Ooh, that's that precept. It says um, that one sinner. Proverbs can destroy it. One sinner can destroy it. See if we can find 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 it. And literally a yeah, smidgen, yeah, yeah. Just, 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 like, yeah, just, with, like, just like that mustard seed right. can go, like, it could mean a whole lot, right. same same vice versa, right. with that little and bit of yeah, leaven, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ezekiel Ziastes right. 918 yeah, yeah. says, Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroys much good. See that? One sinner, one little pamphlet. One little um, book of movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, and I, and yeah, I seen yeah. that, brother. I remember I told you from the spirit because I, I heard his voice. He's been around Israelite camps. Not us. It's the first time he's come up to this one, but he's been to other Israelite camps in, in, in London, right? And he's doing he, he's doing the same thing. Right? Sean, he's not he's not interested in getting spiritually fed. Really, he's got a spirit on him that's trying to turn yeah, yeah, yeah. people away from the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but what they say, you know, I don't want to are part of that number. You can never fool the elect. Hey, you know, yeah, right? was spiritual too, because he said, "I'm just doing the bidding." Of, hey, Shalawama. Yeah, he said, "I'm just doing. I'm just the." Uh, I'm just doing the bidding for someone. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. doing oh, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the foot soldier. I'm the foot soldier. Yeah, he's Satan's foot soldier. Yeah, and yeah, he may no, not even realize it. Right, he yeah. believes that he's actually doing a good thing. You know, what's this good to say? Uh, there's a way that seems right, right unto a man. man. Yeah, but the way that, yeah, yeah. And that's the, that's the part that brother's walking. He don't even realize it. Man. Yeah, the most I don't need us thinking for him, man. He just got to do what he says. Right. Simple. Right. Yeah, same as like, this is Proverbs 14 and 10. Oh no. Uh, it's, it's, see, the brother said, um, same book that Jake gave to me and yeah. my brother at camp. See yeah, that? yeah, that's that, that the spirit. So, so he's yeah. going around to and, 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 and trying to force that bullshit out. That, and that's, oh, that's a spirit, man. That's, that's, that's the off spirit. I see, that's a minion, man. Damn shit. Car, man. And that, that just, yeah, our people are destroyed. This is Proverbs 14 and 12. It says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man because hey, he was true hearted, he sincerely believed yeah, in that yeah, little pamphlet, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that, that's deep, man. How are you going to come up to uh, brothers holding Bibles? Uh, and you say you believe in the most high. Well, he said he knows he's an Israelite. Then he, then he goes, proceeds to keep talking about black, black, black people. Yeah, it says so. Holding there hands. is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof. Are the ways of death, yeah, because if you're not coming out of these scriptures in truth and sincerity, then you're coming out of something else which ultimately leads to death because this is the only thing that attains to life is these, is these scriptures right. that were given to us. And you know what's scary because what that goes to show again is that just because you believe in the Bible, right, you may know and acknowledge you're an Israelite, but guess what? You're staying right? stay in the congregation of the dead, you're still actually in the deep sleep, man. Right? Well, the scripture says, Not all Israel, I'm not all Israel, man. Shani, again, man, we need to do that much more. Right. We need to prove our worth, not just talk the tip, man. And going back to what you put out on your lesson, it says, continue in the things that thou hast learned. learned. About right. what? Right. About has been assured, assured of. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it no, no. yeah, Israel, hopefully, the lesson was edifying, you know. We started off with our. Actually, bring out that uh, Romans 1. Let's quickly really touch that a bit. Romans 1 21. Can't be leaning on our own understanding. Not this, in this day and age, man. This is the book of Romans, chapter one, verse twenty-one. It says, "Because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified Him not as the Most High, 
neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. That's right. I've got another person. It says, and their foolish heart was darkened, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. That's a lucky answer. Hey, no, that's powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to read it again from the top. They became fools. This is Roman 1, verse 21. It says, because that when they knew the Most High, they gloried Him not as the Most High, neither were thankful. Yeah, because now you're starting off your own understanding now. Right. You know what I'm saying? The most I gave that little bit of knowledge coming to the truth. Get a little bit of wisdom. That's what I said, knowledge from the mouth. Yeah, that yeah, spirit, yeah. I was about to say, yeah. then you start getting puffed up. Yeah. Look what I know, and it was going into what I was going into earlier. Now it's like a, look what I know, and look at me, look at me. Oh, no, man. Hey, it says, those that exalt themselves shall be abased. Right. right? So we've got to be very careful how we're walking, man. It says, the meek shall inherit the earth. So we have to stay meek and humble. What's it saying in Matthew? Yahweh Shai said, Take my yoke, my yoke is easy, for I am meek and humble. Yahweh Shai was meek and humble. He wasn't proud. You know? Because when they knew the Most High, they glory him not as the Most High, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power right. into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and to four footed beasts and to creeping things. To the dignity thereof. Uh, yeah, that was the point on that. I gotta find it, man. Uh, I'll just bring this up, bring this out. Here, this is Sirach chapter 7, verse 3. It says, My son, sow not upon the furrows of unrighteousness, and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold. It says, Seek not of the other one preeminence, neither the neither of the king the seat of honor. It says, justify not thyself before her other one and boast not of the wisdom before the king. Yeah, man, and that's, and that's what's been made in, in that, uh, that, that vain spirit, right? So this is Sirach chapter three. This is the one I really wanted, right? This is Sirach chapter three, verse 21, right? It says, seek not out the things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength, but what? It says, see now the things which are too hard for thee, neither search out the things that are above thy strength, right? Here's the point. It says, but what is commanded thee, think thereupon and reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are secret. It says, be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shown unto thee than men understand. That's right. That's the spirit, man. If we remain in that, that lowly spirit, that humble spirit, then we know what? The most I reveal of his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, or, or, or giveth more grace unto the humble. That's right. That's right. You know? And yeah. ultimately, those men are going to be coming out of the scriptures, right. not their own vain opinion. The water for the precepts yeah, and uh, the water for the The added for the edification. Shout out to all you brothers and sisters tuned in. You know, stay strong. I don't want Ratazar, you know, we almost out of it, man. Yeah. We just stay patient, long suffering. And, you know, endure to the end, so in, uh, in hope that we're safe. So on that note, we're going to face the east. We're going to give all honor, glory, and praises. Teach you how, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Raka Kodash.